Greetings and salutations all, Mark the Warrior here, how's everyone doing? Doing pretty good, it's been a good day for me, it's my day off, I just had some, I almost saved state of there, that would have been very awkward. But I had some KFC, popcorn chicken, always a good start. And I had, uh, some, uh, chocolates, cream filled chocolates, the very good kind. Leftovers from... I think it was actually left over from Christmas. Yeah, I got, found him 50% off. Honestly, that's good. 50% off makes it worth it, no matter how I look at it. But anyways, today we're going to start Chapter 5, but before that, I want to go do this favor. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Koop. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just one little one. Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible, you promise, young fella. All right, let's get that out of the way. I really just want to get the silver card from him so that I can unlock the actual casino. Oh, star piece somewhere here. Gonna want that. Not around here, uh, how about over here? There it is, nice. Up. Uh, excuse me, thank you. Going to have to get that as much as possible so that I can actually, um, Ah, there's Colorado's wife. So that I can get my, uh, badges from the guy. Okay. Come on. Tell me. I, I don't want that. I want the book. Thank you. Yes, I am doing an errand. Koopa Legends, please give me the book. Thank you. I really just want to get the silver card so I don't have to do stupid shit to grind for money later. Yes, that's the book. Behind the bookshelf. Thank you why it was behind the bookshelf. That book has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days. Let's not worry about that. I'm not gonna dip into Colorado's business. He's an innocent man. Well, not really, but whatever. Here you go, Koopa Legends. <clears throat> Great galloping Goombas, your lifesaver, Mario. This is just what I needed. <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Oh. Okay, what do you want this time? Colorado? Sleepy sheep, okay. So I'm gonna be blunt, I, I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was the first favor that gives you a silver card. I was completely wrong. But sleepy sheep, that's easy enough to get. Wait, do I already have one? No, I don't. Okay. For some reason, I thought I already did have a sleepy sheep. I think I did have one earlier, and I just decided to ditch it. And which shop sells it? Is it this one over here? I hope so. It is not. Okay, bye-bye. I'm gonna assume I don't have one in storage. Because honestly, I probably don't. I probably just ditched it somewhere random for a different item. And what do we have here? Soft stomp, ice smash, absolutely no money at all. I am financially destitute. Fuck. Okay. There it is. Ten coins. You're, you're taking half of what I have left, Toad. I hope you're proud. Trying to save the Mushroom Kingdom here, but no, can't even see your way to giving me a discount on the Sleepy Sheep, huh? Ugh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyways, this is pretty much why I'm going for this now that I'm thinking about it. I, I don't want to grind the long way for money, which is either grinding fights, which would grind experience, and I don't want to do that. No, sh I hit B. I'm supposed to hit A. Whoops. My stars, you're a 
veritable hero, Mario! Finally, some peace and quiet. Sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> Take this as a small thank you. Oh, of course, take this to- Yes! Here we are. Did you know there's a playroom in Toad Town? If I remember right, it used to be around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance to it is well hidden. I bet you could find it, though. This here's a silver credit. It'll let you play once you're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money. But I got tired of the hoopla, so a silver credit's yours. Good luck! Make some money! <laughs> okay, thank god. No more favors for him. Go unlock the playroom, and then promptly ignore it, because I am not doing that on stream. That's slight nuisance grinding, and that's... That's just for another... That's something that I just do off stream. Grind up the money so that I can just... Oh. Start piece around here. Question is, where around here is it? It's, it's probably like way down the other way, actually. Like all the way down here. But yeah, that way I can I can just grind money without having to risk grinding experience. And without having to go through the absolute stupid bullshit of selling uh, coconuts for one coin on the on Lava Lava Island. I am not doing that to myself. I may be masochistic at times, but that's a little bit too much even for me. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, though, now we can go this way and go start Chapter 5. Actually, before I go... Oh, see, does this guy have anything to say? Nope. Same thing as before. Still don't have any way of getting back there. These guys still don't really have anything worthwhile. Okay. I mean, that jam and jelly is good, but... I don't have a reason to purchase that. Now I'm thinking about... I have no money anyway. Another one, really. Actually, how many star pieces do I have? Maybe I should make a... S nope, seven is not nearly enough for anything worthwhile. At least I don't think so. At least not anything I plan on using for the foreseeable future. There we go. Now I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've seen Chuck Quizmo anywhere. Did he get removed in this hack, or is it just that we don't see him? Don't need that, don't need that. Uh, what I want is... Hammer Throw. Because I remember what happened... When I was playing, uh, Dark Star Edition. I remember all too well how that shit show went for me. Wait a minute. Why is Watt nearly dead? Oh, Watt is dead. Okay, I have a corpse flying around with me. That's awkward. Let's change that, because I do not need a dead Watt in my party. I need an alive Watt. Actually, how are my partners? Bombette is dead as well. Well, Bombette being dead is less of a concern, admittedly. She's not really that great, but... Kind of a mean thing to say, but Watt being dead is a problem. I am fine, Toad, but my partners are not. And by partners, I mean Watt. I suppose healing Bombat is good too, but... Yep, that actually does heal her too. And how many Shine Sprites do I have while I'm here? It's been a while. Zero. Okay, well, Bombat's getting shafted again then. I was considering upgrading her. I would've if I had the Shine Sprites since... You know, going to Lava Lava Island, I figured, hey, you know, I won't be able to upgrade su Oh, fuck, I won't be able to upgrade sushi. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well. I do plan on, uh... I do plan on beating up Junior Troopa today and just going... And unlocking the ability to go back to Toe Town right away, rather than doing it... Um, after the, uh, Chapter 5. So it's not that bad. I should still be able to get things easy. I should still be able to come back and do everything, so... I'm sure I'll be fine. Grab some coins. And... Hello, Colorado. Hmm, who am I, you say? 
Why, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I for one am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix though, no way to get there, you see. Hmm, think now, Colorado, how to cross the sea. I don't know what kind of voice I give this. I don't have the ability to speak underwater speech shit. <clears throat> Ouch! Yeah! What are you doing? I think I'll just use my normal voice at this point. Why are your eyes disconnected? Why are your eyes sticking like way out of your head? Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Uh, I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Uh, help me. Hmm, I say, old boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. You know, Colorado, help. It seems like... You know, it seems like it would be a nice thing to help him, but he could just kind of swallow me as revenge for jumping on him, and that could be just the end of it. Not sure I feel too comfortable with this. This might go badly. Alright, fine. Ugh. I've been on the internet far too long to be able to see this as anything other than horribly cursed at this point. What? Who dat? What do you think you're doing with that light? Come on, over here. Ah. Did not get a first strike, unfortunate, but whatever. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it, I'm as ornery as all get out. Prepare for some pain. That was a, I don't think I did the same voice there. Whoops, oh well. Oh yeah, I, I forgot, I have a lot of damage right now. And there's a star sand. I am not getting my, uh, super guard. Unfortunate. Skill issue, really. My own fault. I've, it's been too long since I've actually... Wait, what? Didn't I up... Didn't I equip Hammer Throw? Does Hammer Throw not apply here? Huh? I was pretty sure... I was... Oh, Watt has a passive, uh... Zap Tap. Interesting. Well, I can't afford to have Walk go down. I guess... Huh. Well, okay, that's kind of awkward. I thought Hammer Throw would... Did I not equip it? Did I just like look at it and then leave? Oh well. Guess I'm stupid. Not much of a surprise there. I wonder if Pout is paralyzing him. Like, would that actually work here? There we go. Super guard. And hey, super guarding stopped him from being able to go back up. Nice. Wasn't sure it would work that way, and he goes down next turn no matter what. Nice. I didn't know he could heal. It's interesting, it doesn't change much, he's gonna die right here anyways, but still. I didn't know he could do that. Nice. I learned something today. First I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me, you know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Oh shit.
Whoosh! Oh, not the worst hole I could have gone out of. I'll take it. Hey, it's you, boy. You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such. You plum idiot. I, you know I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time. But you just watch it. Uh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. You take care now. Man, he was taking a nap with his mouth open. How did you end up swallowed? Sounds like a skill issue on your part. Whoa, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, am... Uh, I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Oh, pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, allow me, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be, the island will be wonderful, you must trust my instincts. Mario, um, I think the star kid said a star spear was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, uh, we should go. Big whale, give us a ride, Wee! Huh, Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but there's a big volcano on the ver on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting, very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Oh, okay then, it's your call, just let me know when you're ready to go. Now here's the question, am I actually ready? I should be. And for this matter, did I- No, I had hammer throw equipped! Why was it not letting me- Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> uh, I didn't even consider that. Now that I'm thinking about it. I should probably throw that on before it becomes a problem. Because I will get myself killed in a very embarrassing way. Yes, let's go to Lava Lava Island. No need to heal before. I'm confident nothing bad can happen. <laughs> uh, sure, this is safe then. Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna. Mario, do you ever think about how strange life can be? I do. I try not to think about it. You know... Thinking about it too much sometimes, you just kind of... You get in that weird headspace where you just think of everything and you start wondering if anything is real. Or if it's all just a simulation. And some higher, like, robot being or whatever is gaslighting you into believing everything that you think is real is real when it's really not. And I'm gonna stop talking now before this becomes too existential. I already have existential shit with last command. I don't need it here. If you want me to take you back to Toad Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious, behold, Mario! There, off in the distance, atop of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry, make haste! Now, I'm actually kind of curious. Can I actually just go straight back here, or is that area blocked off until... No, I can actually... Interesting. I mean, there's this, so it's not like I can do much here, except maybe fight the ambush, which I'm not going to bother with. But interesting that you can enter that area. Stopwatch. Good item? Not going to be using it. I don't need those. <laughs> help, I say, help! Alright, so, I'm noticing a letter up here. That takes priority, more or less. There we go. Oh, shit. 
Well, it's not like it would have mattered. Would not have gotten him into Watt's kill range. Let's go with Power Shock. Just, just paralyze this guy before he becomes a problem. Three turns? That's pretty good, actually. I'll, dro I'll drop a quick refresh just to get the health and FP back. It's not like I'm super in need of it, but hey, I have the star power, I might as well. <laughs> and goodbye. You, you saved me many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on. What say? And oh. another star piece. I will take it. I will also ignore the Yoshis, just as I ignore people in real life. Grab my star piece. And we will go over here. Where's Colorado? Actually, for that matter, right, he, go, he went off to the right. What's in the shop? Point swap, swaps, HP and FP. I suppose that's not the worst thing, but it's very iffy when it would be useful. You'd have to have a very particular strategy. Otherwise, it's just not that good. Colorado. Come on, man. Ow! Get a hold of yourself! What do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? I like how Mario just yawns there. Watching Colorado get beaten, he just yawns and falls asleep. Astounding. Uh, Watt. You can attack this guy, right? Okay, good. I wasn't sure if Watt maybe would have gotten blocked from attacking the uh, front-facing spear. I could not super guard that to save my life. Unsurprising, really. I can barely ever get the normal block timing on that attack. I should probably not try super guarding. You, you saved me once more. You're top notch, Mario. Now, I feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? Quite near indeed. And I can't hammer him again, unfortunate. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it, the secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. I mean, you could just like chop down one of the trees and like lay it here as a makeshift bridge. Not the most stable or safe thing, but you're an adventurer, Colorado. An explorer. You don't, sh you don't shy away from danger, right? It would totally work, too. I mean, I wouldn't do it with just one. I'd probably try and, like, build a proper, like, mini bridge, but it would definitely work. Uh, uh, stop! Stop it! 
Oh, ho, ho. did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on. I'm not helping you next time. I do like the Panic version of this theme. It is very nice. I swear, all of these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problems so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? Good luck, Colorado. Eh, fine. Always has to be me. Always. It always has to be a Super Mario who solves all of the problem. Oh well. I suppose I'm okay with it. I'll throw a bow, actually. Her extra point of damage could be useful. Depends on how much health these enemies have, but... Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely shitting me? One point of health. Too much for bow to kill. Oh well. Super guard it is. Which I'm surprised I got that, but I won't complain. I guess the bow strat is still optimal. And what would I upgrade next? I suppose BP would be my next upgrade too. Uh, actually, what can I throw on for badges now that I'm thinking about it? Is there any badge I'd actually want to throw on? No. No badges I'd want to take off, anyways. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! Hey, you! Down there, look up here if you can hear me. I don't know why I gave Sushi that sort of voice, but okay. This is so embarrassing. I'm stuck in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? Come on now, try harder! Oh, phew, I'm saved. I feel like one big ape. Eh? Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you'd better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out here. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Well, so you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Mario, huh? Hmm. Well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I'd usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Holy shit, that voice. That doesn't hurt my throat too much, but... I don't know, that just... I think I was talking too fast with it or something. Burned a little too much oxygen, got a little faint. Give me a moment, I need to take a drink. Oh. All right, feeling a lot better now. All right, first goal, go talk to this guy. <coughs> Whoa. Residual effects from the sushi voice. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for nap and perfect temperature. I'm a bubble. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? 
I want you to take the seed. So, or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry, though. It'll be ready any time now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be here giving stuff to people. I appreciate that. Certainly, that isn't going to be annoying later. Oh. There was a letter in that tree. I was not aware of that. Mm -hmm. Now, first order of business. You might think it's go help the Yoshis, but no, screw the Yoshis. First order of business is to abandon them altogether and go back to Toad Town, because I want to beat up a child, rather than helping any. And on the topic of beating up a child, I need to change my setup. Take off a damn, take off one of those. Throw on feeling fine, wherever that is. There it is, throw that on and then I'll throw on. What would be good, what would be good 2 BP power? Does this work? I wonder if that works with super guards. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. And the reason for feeling fine, Wow, sushi is slow. Not keeping up at all. Anyways, point to feeling fine. Junior Troopa comes in here and... Uh, he, I believe, has... If this is gonna be like vanilla, a dizzy dial. And... Dark Star Edition? I could rely on my partner. Uh, Paracarry, actually, for that matter. To do the damage. I cannot rely on, uh... Paracarry here because partners will actually be affected. Huh? No, I want to talk. Yes. Let's go back to Toad Town. What? Ah. <laughs> yes, I did it. I swam all the way. All right, Mario. Now I'm going to give you a beating you'll never. What? <laughs> Where are you going? Wait, Mario, wait up. Come back here, you chicken. <laughs> Major skill issue on his part. If he didn't suck so much at swimming, he would have gotten there faster and he would have been able to fight me right away. What a chump. I like how you can see the whale's tail just barely off screen there. And like Junior Troop had totally caught up. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now, Mario, you're mine this time. Ah! <laughs> Here it comes, you. You'd better be ready. 80? Jesus Christ. All right, just straight up doubles his health from vanilla, okay. <gasps> oh no, oh, I'm swimming. My HP is almost gone. Well, I'll make up for my low HP by using my new skills. Check this out, more power. No dizzy dial. I know all of your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear, the spike, the wings? You can't attack me now. I'm the smartest fighter alive. 
I can't be defeated. <laughs> he doesn't have a Dizzy Dawn. Maybe that was a Dark Star Edition thing only. Hmm. Alright, so I didn't need the, uh... I didn't need feeling fine. Alright, whatever. No big deal. Ah, uh, I didn't think you'd do that. Is that even legal? I don't care about it, if, whether it's legal or not. I just want to hurt you. And if I can successfully hurt you, that's the only thing that matters. Ow. Apparently he can successfully hurt me, too. The fact that I have skill issue when it comes to Super Garden, that does not help matters. Hey. Well, first off, do that. And he would totally go down next turn, but. Yeah, I'll drop the Super Shroom on Mario. I'm putting Parry Carry out front, but. Just in case he does decide to hit Mario instead. I just can't get the Super Guard. Absolutely. I'm not the only one with a skill issue today, it would seem. All right. There we go. Got it. I couldn't allow my boy Paracarry to get knocked out. I pulled the Super Guard out. Just out of my ass. Nailed the timing because I couldn't let Paracarry get knocked out. You can't let a man down like that. Oh. <coughs> you know what? <laughs> now that I think about it. I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. Then I probably would have beaten Mario in no time. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh... And now I'll beat up a ch an already unconscious child right here in Toad Town in front of everyone. And the Toads will do nothing about it because they know that I'm the only white one who can beat Bowser, so I can basically just do this with no fear of consequences. You saw everything, but you won't do a thing about it. Anyways, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go take a nap. Get my HP back. And once I have that back, it's right back to the island, but not via whale. No, no, no. No whale today. Well, there was a whale today, but no more whale. Instead of the whale, I will go to the sewers. Almost hit something I did not want to hit. Okay, so... Get rid of those, put on my power plus. Okay, save again. State... And now it's time for my... Ugh, oh, for my pain. So I'm pretty sure there's a big boss fight coming up. Oh shit, I can't start with Paracarry either. Looks like my first partner turn is going to be just... Super. Looks like my first partner turn is going to be get sushi out of here. 140 HP, shit. I wonder how much of a chance I actually stand here. Because I need 14 turns of Mario attacks to be able to accomplish anything. Okay. Normal blocking that, because I'm not going to try and super guard something like that. I have enough hard- I have a hard enough time doing these super guard timings- Oh my god, that is a huge target. I have a hard enough time with super guard timings normally. I do not need to make things harder on myself. Oh, okay.
What do I want to do here? I don't have a multi-target move, which sucks. Dizzy dial. Let's see what happens. Will this work out for me? Yes, it does. Okay, so I don't need to worry about them right now. I can just focus down Super Blooper. Smash the boss, worry about everything else later. Coming in with items. That was 100% the strat. I'm going to swap out and go with uh, Paracarry out front. There. That brings him down quite a bit. And... Super Blooper will be below half HP, won't he? Okay, let's see if I can do something else here. What items do I have access to anyways? Sleepy Sheep, Stopwatch. I could use Stopwatch on them. You know, I'll pop a shooting star and then I can uh, star storm them the turn after. That'll get rid of the babies. Oh my god, never mind! That won't get rid of a fucking thing. You know what? Having Watt out front would be the answer for that. You'll go out for what? Do I have anything I do not have life shrews? Yep, yeah, refresh. Pop a refresh, get some FP back, and bring Mario's HP up a little bit. Because that is a charge attack and I do not like that. Yes. I was smart. Bringing Watt out was the right move. Oh! And they, for some reason, can't hurt Mario. Oh, the Super Guard! Absolute Giga Chad move. There we go. Got Mario some extra damage. I don't know why Mario is immune to that, though. What? What is making Mario immune? Ow! Shit, that hurts. This is a very serious question, though. What badge do I have on that's making Mario immune to the... He doesn't have Zap Tap. That would damage them, and... Well, Refresh will keep Watt alive if I actually block the damn attack. Is it possible that... Uh... Damage Dodge is making Mario immune? Or do they just suck and are unable to grab a Mario? Weird. I don't know what's causing it. And that bothers me because I really want to know why Mario was randomly immune. Okay, let's refresh again. Get Watt out of the danger zone. By out of the danger zone, I mean above 10 HP. I don't imagine he's going to go over 15 damage. He might, though. He might just do more than 15 damage and just absolutely annihilate Watt. Either way, that's an acceptable sacrifice. It's not a good one, but I'm willing to take it. Never mind, he's going for Mario. And I super guard him again. No complaints there. Things are working out for me. Better than they normally would. Apparently all it took was that last second super guard on uh, Junior Troopa to get the lead out so I could actually start super guarding meaningful attacks. Huh? 
How am I getting this one consistently, I wonder? I have trouble with others, but not this one for some reason. I was expecting so much worse from this fight. But apparently, throwing Watt out here was the winning move. Since it... My Watt can just do free damage, these things can't hurt Watt. They can't hurt Mario for some reason. And Super Blooper is just going to waste his turn charging when he's going to die today anyways. Although to be fair, I don't think Super Blooper could have done anything. Even if he'd gone for normal attacks, he couldn't have possibly killed this turn, so it's... He was screwed from the beginning. These guys are just powerless. I feel bad right now. These guys can literally do nothing. And I don't understand why they can't do anything. I know full well why they can't hurt Watt, but their inability to hurt Mario is what's throwing me off. Oh well, BP up, I suppose. And goodbye, Super Blooper. You tried your best, and I respect it, even though you failed. Okay, now I need to look at my badges. I want to see what could possibly be causing that. Damage dodge is the only thing there that I think could possibly have caused that. I don't imagine spike shield would work, since that should only protect me from jumping on spiked enemies. So weird. Oh well, whatever. Actually, while I'm here, maybe I'll get rid of damage dodge and... Go for... I didn't have all or nothing on. Interesting. Well, I suppose I can turn off a power plus and go with all or nothing just to save some BP. There's the lucky start that I want. Now I just need one more BP upgrade to be able to put on my other power plus. But before I do that... Is there anything I want to equip? This one was kind of underwhelming in the one case I used it, though to be fair, that was probably just bad luck. Hmm. What's a good 3 BP badge? You know, I'll throw on ice power. I don't... We're not running into fire enemies for a little bit anyways. Probably not even this stream, but still. Alright, Sushi. Now we'll help them. I know you're probably pretty angry at me for dragging you all the way back to Toad Town, but we're going for it now. I can only imagine the absolute just bitching out Mario got from Sushi that entire time. Just getting absolutely ripped apart by an angry fish. Oh, I have Zap Tap now. Nice. And that... I super guard that? Okay. And what I've learned is that super guarding that does no damage. I've also learned that sushi is shit and should probably just be gotten out, kicked out of my party immediately. Seriously, sushi, only three damage. You couldn't even kill one of those shy guys. Disappointing. Alright, Bo, you're up. More reinforcement. You guys have got to be kidding me. You cannot keep calling in reinforcements like this. It's just not cool. 
I know I could have just ignored it and gone with the one damage slap there, but... No super guard that time. No super guard there either. But I didn't really want to because I know if you do that to Huff and Puff, if you kill him with a one damage slap in vanilla, you can actually crash the game, and I just don't want to risk that. Even though I only know it to happen with Huff and Puff, I don't want to play that game with my life here. I had to let him do it. I actually did try to super guard, but you know, I'm letting him have it. He can have that because he's gonna die anyways, so he gets to look cool for his friends. Well, I mean, they're dead already, so he's looking cool for the corpses of his friends, which that just got... That got a little bit darker than I intended it to, but whatever. And I can't use that because I'm using the Jumpman badge. Now that I'm thinking about it, since I can actually just throw on Happy Heart. I only have Happy Heart P, really. I thought I would have had Happy Heart normal. Wait, what? I don't, that was a Quake Hammer badge too. I have two Quake Hammers, no other Quake. Okay, fine. That's a little bit disappointing. Pretty lucky would have been a way better choice. Don't even ask me why I didn't have that as my first thing. Do, 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 do. Alright, but we're just gonna go ahead and take the nap, leave the uh, kids to survive the jungle for another day. I'm sure they'll be fine. It's only children left unattended in the wilderness. Nothing bad happens with that. Okay. Now, let's go. Kind of got fucked up by that fight a lot more than I was expecting. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Now we're just gonna go straight through. Considering I'm only getting one SP per enemy killed, I think I might skip some of the fights. Still gonna fight some enemies, so I've gotta get at least a little experience. Shine Sprite, that's one-third of the way to a upgraded sushi. Do, 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 do. The fact that sushi is just barely not strong enough to kill these guys really hurts me in a lot of ways, I have to admit. Oh, I have FP regen, that's nice. I do like FP regen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do, do. There we go, super garden. That's what cool guys do. do, 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 do. Ah, uh, missed it. Oh well. Drop a refresh, get some HP back, and Bill will take the kill. Do, do, do. Don't ask why I didn't just use Spook. Would have got me through that without any damage, without having to deal with anything. Would have also left me without any SP coming out of it, but... Without any, uh, star points, but... Who needs that? Ah! There we go, that's the other enemy that's in- I got HP regen, nice! Of course it's gonna be, like... That's just how it's gotta be, huh? One point of HP away from killing. I'm not going for super guards on these guys because they will poison me. And 
and I don't want to deal with that. Four, five, and... Let Bo soak up a, this next hit. While Mario throws out a refresh, you get a bit of HP back. And these guys are also only worth one star point. I suppose that's what I get for going back to do the sewers and Junior Troopa. And apparently I'm a Giga Chad that can super guard like that. I didn't think I'd be able to successfully super guard that, but okay. That's the wrong partner. Okay. I don't hear crying in this. Weird. Oh, there's the crying. It actually just doesn't happen until you get to this point. I wasn't here now, I was like, what the hell, why is the Yoshi not crying? Is he already dead? I, I forgot to switch my partner. I am invisible! Oh, that is so nice. I uh, will swap out to, I guess, Cooper. Since he does have a power shell, he can damage everything here. That'll make for a quicker kill overall. And that only works for the first turn, okay. Ow. Oh, these guys don't poison. For some reason, I thought those guys poisoned. I think I was just thinking about the other ones. Oh, pretty lucky. Can't believe it. Pretty lucky actually procced? What bizarre world am I living in? Go. And down to just one guy left. How's it feel to be the last of your kind? Apparently it was enough to make him angry. Understandable. I also would be pretty upset if somebody murdered all of my friends in front of me. There you are. <clears throat> that was scary. We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here. Sushi was right. We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. And of course there's absolutely nothing to be worried about when letting the child go home completely alone without any help from a responsible adult while being stranded in the wilderness. God, I love this. Oh well, that's their problem, not mine. I'll ignore that ambush. I'll hit the tree though, get a coin. Free money is always welcome. I'm not, I don't want that free money. Nor you guys. And go over here. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that normally there in Paper Mario? I don't know that... I don't know if that's usually there or if I just... Or if that exit is just something added here. I might just be going crazy. <laughs> we were playing hide and seek. I had to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. Skill issue. I was wandering around and then I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle's really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Mario, will you be it for hide and seek instead of me? I'm going home now. He just admitted to getting lost and we're letting him go on his own sushi. Listen, sushi, I, ah! I don't want to sound rude, sushi, but I feel like maybe you're not doing as good of a job as you 
should be. I'll throw a Watt out front for this fight. Wait a minute. The flower again. Does this... Does the Lucky Start Badge actually cycle between statuses you start with? Can I predict exactly what I'm going to get every time? Possibly. And if that's how things actually work, then that would be amazing. Because if I can do that, then I can set things up for certain fights. Which isn't actually all that useful at all, because it's not a badge I would ever recommend on bosses. Uh, um... Huh? Okay. This isn't really a situation I was expecting to be dealing with today. Okay. Okay, um... Huh. I wonder if it's because Mario was in the back. Because in uh, Vanilla Paper Mario, Mario cannot be in the back on the uh, enemy's turn. And the enemies can't, these specific enemies cannot directly attack a partner. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just because of that. That could be it. It could just be that these guys are not supposed to be able to attack the back. And that's causing it to glitch in a way that hasn't been fixed in this version of the hack. Interesting if that's the case. Very interesting. That might that would also explain what happened to the uh to the other guys, the uh mini bloopers in that fight. That would explain so much. Alright, now that they're all in low health, I... I can kill two, and then next turn I'll be able to focus on one. Okay. I don't... Well, it doesn't matter which one I go for. Water will kill any of them regardless. Okay, he dies next turn, no questions asked. And he does not, but he comes close. You can super guard those guys. Interesting, I didn't know you could do that since they're a grabbing enemy. I figured I'd keep trying it just since Watt won't get hurt anyways, but that is interesting. Maybe that's a glitch because they're not supposed to be able to attack the back row? Or maybe that's just some weird effect of a badge I have on? I'm not sure, but... Okay, no, this is actually vanilla. Okay. Wait a minute, no it's not, that's a badge over there, that's not van- this isn't vanilla at all. Uh, what? The pillars are the way. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, I understand now. Go this way, go this way. Okay, that makes sense then. That's interesting. Very interesting. Hello, friend. Down, and then left, and then here. And we're good, and now we just have to... 
go this way. Okay, I can absolutely just cleanly go through here without issue. I'd rather just... What are you doing to that spear? And zap tap, so... I think I am actually just... I think I am actually just cycling through statuses. Interesting. Okay, so that's... Oh, you son of a bitch. So that means that it's definitely possible for me to... Potentially predict exactly what status I'll have on which fight. But the actual usefulness of that is... Not that much, since this badge isn't really good for boss fights. Only for normal fights. There we go. Knock this guy down. No, oh, would you look at that? I have zap tap. Oh, I have zap tap two times in a row. Okay, so no, never mind. This is not a situation where I can predict what I'll have exactly. And he missed. Okay. Never mind, I was just going crazy. Thought I was seeing something. I was not. Did that seal on the statue open? Wonderful. Now let's go see what that actual- what that badge actually is. That's- that is the wrong partner. Bo cannot swim. That is a defend plus P. That's a decent enough badge, but really not that great. It's- I mean, I wouldn't say no to it, but I would have to have just spare BP to do that. I'm more focused on what Mario can do, and what his stats look like. Partners are good, but Mario was my biggest concern out of all. Still, not a bad badge to have. Would work pretty well with a danger or a peril setup, especially like Peril Bow or something. I mean, we all know Peril Bow is an unholy monster that shouldn't be allowed to exist in this realm. Swap out to what? Since Watt cannot be damaged by these guys, and having Mario in the back makes them just completely ineffectual. Poor Watt. A power shock this one. Because he has an item and I don't like that. That way I can kill this guy and the sleepy sheep does not become- I didn't need to power shock at all. Killing the uh... Killing that guy, the spear guy, was the only thing that mattered in this fight. I did not need to power shock. Don't know why I thought I need. I was thinking, like, that I wanted to avoid an item being used against me because of how bad things would get if Spear Guy was allowed free reign. Because the fuzzies can't do shit, but if Walk gets knocked out, that puts Mario in the front row, which, if things are working the way I think they are, would make him vulnerable again.
still, it's nice that the game knows how to uh, work with that unfortunate and weird situation. Imagine if the game just crashed because it didn't know how to respond to an enemy being stuck to Mario like that. It'd be hilarious. Star piece. Is this destructible, I wonder? Because it does look like Bombat could blow it up. Here it is. And the multi-bounce back. That's the second one of those. That makes my multi-bounce stronger, I imagine. Will not complain about that. There was this flower that spun around, and I thought it was way cool, so I got on it. And then I spun around and around, and then I was up in the air and flying, and then I ended up here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. Mm. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't want to go back up there. I'm gonna take Watt out of the party now. Uh, she's doing good, but she's not doing too great at the same time. I... Watt's working hard. Watt's pulling her weight. Watt is also, like, in several different ways, potentially on the verge of death. Ah! Nice attempt. Nice try at the first strike, chump. Didn't work out for you, though. Do, do, do. do this, and then Spear Guys. Both of these enemies can call reinforcements. That's mildly annoying. And there we go. Reinforcements. If he does it again, I'm just gonna spook. And I just can't super guard that. Which is weird, because you'd think the spear throw would be easy enough to super guard. But apparently it's not. Apparently I have skill issues in regards to that. Not surprising, I have skill issues in a lot of... In a lot of ways, but... Oh well, whatever. Do, 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 do. And that goes down. And that's a hurt plant, I know that for a fact. Okay, so here's the plan. I have Watt Power Shock this to prevent the item usage, just so I don't have to deal with getting that. Oh, you son of a bitch. I wanted to Power Shock that guy to avoid getting sleepy sheeped. No, Mario is. Why is Mario immune? Why am I invincible to those guys, even when I'm not in the back row? What is causing this? Okay, now I'm very, very confused. I can't think of a good reason why Mario was just casually immune to those. Because he's not doing damage like he would with Zap Tap, so it can't be that Watt's uh, Zap Tap is somehow transferring over to Mario. That wouldn't make sense. By the way, I'll quickly just kill this guy. I was gonna go for a refresh just to get Watt out of danger zone, but it doesn't matter right now. Is it pretty lucky? Ooh. 
Is it possible that having pretty lucky on is like letting them hit Mario, but it the lucky just casually makes it so they don't work properly? I am so confused. I should probably, uh... I should probably go for Power Shock and just paralyze those two so they don't keep uh, respawning more. I am going for refreshes anyways to... Oh shit! It's mash, not hold. I'm only going to use one more refresh, so... I'll just ignore it for now. Wait until I've actually paralyzed the other guy. That way I get all of my FP back instead of wasting two of it. There we go. Now I do this, and then I can just kill everyone. And easy. Ah! Almost dropped my controller. That would have been bad. I want to help you. I'm so sad. Oh my god. You put yourself in that position, kid. See, Mario yawning right there, that's exactly how I felt. I want to have. You know what, Watt? You can't go wrong with the Watt. I'm pretty sure with Bombette, you can actually first strike the guy, those guys. And speaking of Bombette, I see a crack in that wall. And I have Zap Tap. Not really the best thing I could have gone. I could have had here. I would have preferred transparency, personally, but that's just me. And he's paralyzed for three turns. Nice. Six damage. Absolutely nothing. This guy's cooked. And his friend is going to get cooked too. Imagine being this other future piranha. You're paralyzed, unable to move, but you can still see. And you see your friend just get obliterated right before your eyes. The last thing you notice is that you see Mario and his friend are coming straight at you. And you know there's nothing you can do about it horrifying situation, to be honest. Kinda fucked up that you're able to do that to people. <laughs> Are they all gone? I thought those things were gonna eat me right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what you grown-ups tell me to do from now on. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye. Alright, Bombat. Blow up the wall, show me what kind of cool stuff's gonna be here. Interesting. How am I supposed to get through this, I wonder? Well, 
Will this reveal anything? No, no, like Shy Guy situation, like it was for Shy Guy's toy box. Okay, what? What about you? Any interesting invisible things? There is light coming down from the ceiling, so that may or may not be the answer. Gumbario, do you have anything to tell me about this room? It looks like they can be pushed. Oh. Oh! Thank you for telling me that, Gumbaro. I That was actually very helpful of you. I appreciate it. I did not in any capacity expect these to be pushable. I expected so many things, but those being pushable was not it. Okay, that puts me at two shine sprites, I think. Ah! Nope, don't want that. Uh, sushi, quick. Get me out of here. Okay, no exit over there, and no exit over there. Okay, so no other cool secret hidden stuff here. Okay. It's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, Sushi too? <laughs> we were playing hide and seek and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. I know you can actually ditch the yellow Yoshi. There's a glitch you can use to ditch him and let him get- and just let him die to the piranha plants while you do something else. And you are able to progress the game because you're able to get through certain, uh, flags to push you ahead. But the Yoshi actually never gets saved. If you do that, that Yoshi dies. And that's just it. Which I personally think is absolutely hilarious. You can casually just decide a Yoshi's fate. Shine Sprites 3. Yes. Okay, good. Immediate retreat back to uh, Toad Town. Gonna upgrade Sushi. Normally, I always have Sushi at, like, Ultra Rank before I even think of trying to fight the uh, Lava Piranha. But I don't know if I can get enough Shine Sprites for that. If I can, I'm gonna have to pull off some weird voodoo shenanigans. Still the same badges. Okay. And I don't really want to have to deal with weird shenanigans. Screw Bomba. She's not really useful. Water block. Okay. But I think... It'll be very difficult to get enough Shine Sprites to get Sushi up to Ultra Rank before going through Lava Piranha. That's a concern I have. Because if I can't get Lava Piranha... If I can't have Tidal Wave before I go to fight Lava Piranha... Uh, that's gonna be a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? I won't have an all-enemies water attack. That's gonna hurt my strategy. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I do have ice power and two multi-bounce badges, so that could actually work in replacement of Tidal Wave if I needed to. Hello. Oreo, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. I have heard from your companion, Colorado, that you wish to go to Mount Lava Lava. Since you have blessed our village with your kindness, I will show you the best way to reach the volcano. Please, come this way. Oh, thought it was 
somewhere around here. What are you doing? Oh yes, I found it. Here it is, take it, please. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute. You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. But you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh. You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What a touching story. Romantic stories like that just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano isn't getting any cooler. Ow. Well, while my throat goes to while well, I need to sit there and wait for my throat to recover from the absolute brutalization that I gave it. <coughs> Jesus Christ, voice crack, crack that I gave it there. I'm going to save things and call stream here. Thank you all for being here. I hope you've all had a wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Take care. Have a good one.